time over to my channel. Thank you so much for coming by. And today, my little fur babies wanted to make an appearance. This is Dixie and this is Paisley. Um, anyways, but those are my dogs and they are basically my children along with my cat, Dakota. So. Anyway, I really just want to take a moment to say a super huge thank you to everyone who's been so amazingly sweet and nice on Instagram and here on YouTube. I was so nervous to start this and ever since I just decided to jump in and do it, it has been one of the most rewarding experiences I think I've had in quite some time. And so people who I've been commenting with and messaging with and connecting with, um, that's been so much fun for me and I really just appreciate all the wonderful feedback that I've gotten just to make this really the best experience possible. And so I just want to say a quick thing everyone for that. I am so excited to bring y'all my very first haul and so if y'all want to see what I got and what my initial first impressions are just go ahead and keep watching. So jumping right into the haul um also I'm playing around with my lighting in here so I've been sitting more in line with the window and today I'm sitting a little bit more in front of the window so if that's helping at all and y'all being able to see or the sun not being so harsh on my face I'm looking at it in the screen but if y'all could please give me some feedback on that and just let me know any suggestions on how to make the lighting better or anything y'all would like as far as if you can't see my eyeshadow or can't see really what I'm doing or see the colors just please always let me know um I'm super excited to be bringing all this haul video and the two main places that I ordered from um, the first place was Integrity Botanicals and if y'all haven't ordered from them, y'all seriously need to. Ashley over at Green Bunny Video raves about them. You get 15% off your first order if you sign up with your email, so that's super easy. Just look at this packaging. I mean, it's so, it's so personal, personal. And just this beautiful little card with my name on it. So dig in and enjoy. And they just wrote me a really sweet card thinking me for ordering from them and I'm like well thank you for existing so I can order from you and I'm so huge on customer service it's one thing I really am picky on and so to have a company that's really excited for their customers to be ordering from them um, it just makes me excited to order from them more and they even threw in another sample just into my order just because integrity bitana bit Integrity Botanicals, thank you so much for existing and for having awesome customer service and being so passionate that your customers are ordering from you. Uh, the second website that I ordered from is called Filtra, P-H-I-L-T-R-E. And I stumbled across their Instagram. They're actually closing their shop by the time this airs, airs, it's not a TV show, by the time I post this, um, that will already be closed in December. They also sent me a really really nice card um you know it's I mean even just something really handwritten is I love that and so they just said thank you for shopping with us and enjoy the goods um this was a great haul and so for them to take the time to do that again just really means so much to me so I'm excited to see what their new project is and then I got a few things from Alima Pure they were having a sale on their eyeliners I got one thing from 100% pure they all came at the same t around the same time so I thought well I might as well just talk about all of them we have all of this stuff look at that and I'm showing off this basket because my mom let me take this for my parents house and I just think it's so stinking cute um so normally in my videos that I have done I'll usually put a picture of the the packaging with the ingredients so y'all can read it. I'm going to skip that this time. I'm just going to link everything down below and all the information down below. If you have any questions about stuff or you want to see like the actual packaging, I keep all the packaging because, you know, I you never know when you're going to reference it. And so like um this is what the 100% pure primer came in. So if you want to see the packaging that it comes in or if you want me to look at the packaging and look up something for you, just go ahead and let me know. So, I picked up these Inner Sense shampoo and conditioners, and Erica Summers 22 talked about them. I believe in her wish list. She said she goes to a salon that uses these brands, and I'll link her wish list video down below, and y'all can look that up. I use these. I've only used these one time. This shampoo is the Color Awakening Shampoo Gentle Cleansing Hair Bath 100% Color Safe. So this is the labeling. 
which I really like. And the smell, it smells like an orange creamsicle, y'all. It smells really, not even really citrusy, just like an orange creamsicle. Yeah, it smells really good. Um, and the smell doesn't really linger after you wash it out. Um, I used, I ran this twice through my hair. That was, a, my hair was just a little bit, a bit greasy. And so I really am happy with this. I'm excited to keep using it. Um, yeah, so happy with this. Uh, then in the conditioner I got along the same line, it's the Color Radiance Daily Conditioner. Um, and this has a blue packaging and, um, this has a bit of a stronger scent. It is, I mean, I'm not a sensitive person to fragrances at all. I never have been. I don't know if it's because I haven't been using my conventional perfume and I've just been using like roll-on scented body oils and lotions um, from Shea Moisture and Pacifica, but this was even a little bit too much for me. Um, and again, I don't even need that much product because my hair is so thin. If you're sensitive to smells, you might not want to use this product because for it to be a little bit too much for someone who isn't sensitive to smells. Um, but even, let me see. Mm, I can't really smell it in my hair anymore. Maybe because I spritzed a little of the, of some sea salt spray in it, but I enjoyed it so far. The next body care item I have is this Moxa Organic Body Wash. Um, this is in the scent Pink Grapefruit in Lang Lang. And this is what the packaging looks like. I'm sorry, it's a little reflecty. I have the window open um, so that I can get some light in here. I don't know if it's just me, but the, the things I have that are grapefruit scented, I can't smell them. Like in my last video, if you'll watch that, when I smelled the, the spearmint and grapefruit body scrub, I couldn't smell the grapefruit in it, but I could smell the spearmint. So I don't know if it's just me or if it's just not being super grapefruity. So... I'm, you know, new to a lot of different scents and essential oils since I switched to Green Beauty. This does smell pretty good. Maybe it's a bit too strong, again, if you're sensitive to fragrances. But I really like this company because it says, in partnership with Moxa Organics, your purchase helps support con conservation initiative for Asian elephants. And who doesn't love the elephants? I love elephants. I think they're super cute. So, um... Anyways, they also have a really good mission behind their company. Probably my favorite item that I got as far as body care goes is this Fig and Yarrow Sugar Scrub in Citrus and Vanilla. Okay, so this, it comes in a glass jar, which is really nice. It's really packed in there. I used a lot just because I am obsessed with this stuff. But it smells so good. I love the smell. It's not overpowering at all. You can definitely get the scent the citrusy, the citrusness and the vanilla out of it. It's not overpowering at all. And y'all, if y'all are looking for an exfoliating body scrub, try this. It exfoliated really well. I had some dry spots that um, are starting to go away now because of it. And even after I washed it off, just um, the essential oils that are in this stay on your skin and just give your skin some just like a nice little skin bath um really fun highly recommend this I will probably be repurchasing this I am in love with this body scrub okay so after body care let's just jump right into skincare this Osei ocean cleansing milk and if you follow organic bunny she just posted about this and it is a higher end um a little bit more pricey skincare line and yeah, this is just, this doesn't have a scent at all, um, and it's just a very gentle cleanser. I, I like to use this in the morning. It's, it's formulated for sensitive, dry, or mature skin. I have pretty normal skin for the most part. Sometimes it can get a little bit dry. Sometimes I do have some breakouts, but for the most part, it's pretty normal. Um, I found that this works best if I apply it dry and then I rub it in and then I go back with the water and wash it out. That seems to work best for me. So if you're also trying this and, it, and you haven't tried it with a dry face, just go ahead and try it that way. But this has been really, really nice in the mornings. Um, it's a very gentle, not heavy duty cleanser at all. So if you need something 
if you have sensitive skin or you don't want anything too strong, I highly recommend this. It's the Acure Organics, which I love this brand so much. It's their day cream. This does say it's for normal to dry skin. This is a bit of a thicker moisturizer. Um, like if y'all can see how thick that is and then just even applying it, it's still got a pretty thick consistency. But this, this for it being a thicker one, I absolutely love. And again, I don't really need that much product because it is thick and so, um, thicker. And so you really don't need that much. And I've really been loving this. Um, so one of the samples I got, when you order from Integrity Botanicals, you get three samples with your order. One of the samples I got is the Aster and Bay Rosewater Mist. And as y'all can see, it's empty because I love it. I used this morning and night. I really liked it. It's empty. It's gone. It just really hydrated my skin. And I have another Fig and Yarrow item. This is their facial scrub. And I really, really like this. I'm going to show you all the inside. It's just a really thick consistency. This is just a very gentle, gentle exfoliator. The consistency of the exfoliating properties, they're not really very big. It's, it's almost like like sand like wet sand um just very fine thin and it comes in glass and i love their their packaging um it just looks very artisanal i really loved everything that i've gotten um even looking at my makeup items there's nothing that i just absolutely like will not repurchase i've just loved all of it so moving on to the makeup which if y'all can hear i got a lot of stuff in here so this is their luminous primer and it has vitamins and antioxidants with Reservatrol. And if any of y'all watch Real Housewives of Orange County, you might know why that's a little bit controversial right now. Um, not going to get into it. So if you watch it, we can talk about it. Just let me know. But this, oh, I love this. Um, this is something I would give to a friend in a heartbeat. If they were thinking about going green beauty, I'd be like, you need this. I put it, I want it, I, I couldn't wait till the next morning, the night that I got my package. And so I just squirted it out and rubbed a little bit on my hand and like it instantly felt so soft, just had a very satin like finish. And so this has made my makeup stay a lot. So if you're thinking about a makeup primer, you don't have one yet, I would highly, highly suggest trying this one. I've seen uh, Vapor Beauty, I've seen a lot of their products floating around. Um, and so I wanted to try one of their concealers. But this is the Vapor Illusionist Concealer in 020. And I went through this pretty quickly. I don't know if y'all can see that color in there. This is a smidge dark for me as far as a concealer goes. It's more of like the color I would use for a foundation. I'd probably go one shade lighter. But this blends really easily. It creased easily on me. I've always had an issue with... Um, it's just been hard for me to find a good concealer. Um, but I want to try the shade lighter in this to see how it works with my skin tone and again I, I use this with my juice beauty concealer and it worked fine it just creased a little bit so if you're one who doesn't need a lot of coverage for your under eyes this would be a great product for you okay so the next product I got was the well people bio bronzer stick and here's the color okay this looks super harsh it blends out easily creamy I use the elf little tiny stippling brush to apply it um, I actually don't even put this on my face. I found that I just am clumsy and I can't really get the positioning right. Um, and so I just go in with a brush and dab it and then I do my thing. So yeah, it swatches just, it's very dark, really dark, scary dark. Um, but I promise you it blends out great. And so, and I just love well people anyways. And so this has been really great. And I also got a highlighter from Vapor Beauty and... I love this packaging. I love this shade of blue. This is my best friend Valerie's favorite color blue. And so anytime I see it, I think of her. Um, but it is just so sleek and so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, y'all, this shade of blue is awesome. I got the, the pinky highlighter stick. Um, if y'all can see, it's just this really, really pink, light pink color right here. This does contain carmine. I'm still playing around with this because it finishes really nicely and then about two seconds later it's very very shimmery there's a lot of shimmer in this and so layering it with other products I've been trying around with that so yeah it's just a very pearlescent color it's a bit too shimmery for me this pack this packaging is so pretty so next let's just jump into eye products these are Alima Pure's eye pencils um, I got one in the navy blue shade which 
is indigo and then I got the brown one which is patina and I love both of these colors I love blue eyeliner I think it looks great on any color eye it just is so different than a black these are really creamy so we have the indigo right here and then the brown one right here and I've really enjoyed these it's really easy to tight line your eyes with these two colors um, and just the formulation of it. So, and Alima Pure, their packaging is just really, really pretty. It has the little birds right here. I got two of their eyeshadows. They're both loose powders, and this one is blonde. And this is just a very nice, I'm wearing it in, on my eyelid. I don't know if y'all can see that. And it goes on really well, um, blends really easily. So I really, really love this shade. I was needing kind of a a, a softer brown and the next color I got is lilac and it looks and appears to be purple but it's almost like a gray purple um and so I'm actually also wearing this if you can see right here in my outer V and then I also um put it on my bottom lashes too as a little bit more of a smudgy eyeliner look you can see like it's not really a purple it's more of like a gray purple yeah so there it is right here and if y'all want closer up swatches of things or if you didn't really get a good feel for it in the video, feel please feel free to email me or message me on Instagram. I'm always available that way. But this is a really, um, I really, I love this shade because I love purples. Paisley, you want your mascara? Do you want your mascara? This is the Alima Pure Natural Definition Mascara and of course just really cute whimsical details. This is a brown mascara. I do believe that they make it in black just you can tell that will totally catch your lashes and separate them and this does smudge a little bit but i found that it does work really well on my bottom lashes i don't hardly use any of my well people mascara on my bottom lashes because it smudges so much but this is a really nice formulation it really enhances kind of what your lashes already are so i am wearing it right now naturally i have really short stumpy lashes I mean, you can even see my eyelashes and that like hardly ever happens when I have mascara on. It's like when you see a tree, but you can't quite see the leaves. You can see the leaves. It doesn't give it a ton of volume, but at least it accentuates them enough to where you can see them. So anyways, if you're looking for a good natural mascara, I would still recommend this one. I love my Well People one, but if um, you want to just try another one, I would recommend this one too. This is probably really fun for layering also since it doesn't really do that much on its own. 100% pure cranberry glow lip and cheek tint. Um, it looks really red and really hot pink. I'm wearing it today on my cheeks and it's a cream formula and so if you don't like cream formulas this may work better for you as a lip tint. I haven't tried it as a lip tint. It swatches. It's a really beautiful color. Very pretty one for especially for fall and all the dark colors that are in. So right here this is it. And I found that this does go on pretty pigmented. I apply this with my finger and then I blend it out with my stippling brush and that seems to kind of take some of the intense pigmentation out of it. Well, I really like this and I love all of 100% Pure's packaging. It's so, so stinking cute. Um, and so I, I want to order more of these. I have seven lip products. Yep. So sticking with 100% Pure, I got their Fruit Pigmented lip what is this called y'all this is why i keep my packaging so i don't forget um 100 free pure 100 pure fruit pigmented lip glaze and i got it in the color coquette which i love the name of that and this is what it looks like this is i think this is the same color as my um pacifica one that i talk about in my pacifica tutorial um in the nudie red this is a little bit m more pink oh yeah that is like the same color this one is a little bit mauvey so that's it right there um and this is so super creamy but again i i love this packaging it's silver with all the little details um is the aster and bay beetroot and hibiscus lip stain now when I was using conventional products, I didn't really use lipsticks that much. They kind of freaked me out, not gonna lie. I was pretty intimidated by them. Um, I felt like I could never really apply them correctly. They always really dried my lips out and I don't like the way conventional lipsticks smell. Just like that, 
smell of lipsticks I, I don't like and um that's the color it looks this is like blood red like that like just really really harsh deep red it doesn't come out that way at all this adds just a nice tint of color if you're wanting something a little bit darker but you don't want to fully commit to a lipstick that is this color um and so I apply it with my finger because I think that's like the best way to get it see how just red that is um but even just like swatching it on it comes out really sheer so you can see you can see my skin underneath and just how sheer that swatches um the well people nudist color bomb in number six which i believe this color is called mocha brown but this is a very nice brown color i didn't realize that the the color i mean it says it right in the name color balm um but i guess i just was so excited that i skipped over that little detail this isn't a lipstick it is definitely a tinted balm and it is very balmy it just has a very high gloss to it it's very sheer if you want like a tinted lip balm you know check them out so that is it for my haul my pretty little basket here is all empty i hope y'all enjoyed this i enjoyed this um thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you have any other questions or just want to chit chat my email is down below you can always find me on instagram at naturally laura catherine and I hope y'all enjoyed the products that I showed today and that I hauled. And if you've used any of these products, let me know what you like about them or what you don't like about them. And if you haven't used any of these products, let me know which products you're excited to try. I just want to hear from y'all. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Um, thank y'all for having patience with my voice as I feel like it's going out now. For having patience with my dogs as they were running in and out, probably making a ton of noise. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed them. I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I... We'll see y'all next time. Thanks.